Yo, what's up guys? It's YouTube Knifing, and uh, today we are playing some Call of Duty Ghosts. We are playing Knife Only Search and Rescue on the map Prison Break, and I got it right this time. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, baby Jesus. Um, the gameplay, I ended up going 12-1, and 1, and um, this game, for some reason, I was so focused. Like, I was just in the zone, I was making good decisions, I was doing things I shouldn't have been able to do, I got away with a lot of stupid stuff this game, and as a result, I believe it turned out to be a good gameplay. So, I'm gonna, there's gonna be some sped up parts, because you know, nobody wants to see uh, three minutes of me running around not finding anybody, so uh, I'll speed up the, uh, the boring parts, obviously, but everything else, it's a pretty solid gameplay, and um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I am, uh, I just finished class for the day. It is 11 o'clock, and I'm sitting in my room recording a commentary for y'all, because I'm pro like that. I'm fixing to get this rendered and uploaded, hit the gym, and then come back, play some COD, and then hang out with my friends, so it'll be a, it'll be a solid day. So can't, can't complain, not too bad of a Monday. And before I burst into any actual topics here, I wanted to talk about something that I saw at school today that was just weird as hell. So... Me and one of the guys in my sociology class are sitting there. We sit up at the front right corner of the room, right next to the door, so we can get the hell out of there as soon as class is over. And um, we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, this girl walks by. And she's it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I swear, this girl's dressed up like Mrs. Claus. Like, she's wearing a red sweater with a red skirt that was way too short that she was too large for, red knee socks, and red shoes... And she's walking around the hall, just wa doing laps of the hall. She just keeps walking by the door. And I'm just like, what, what, what's going on? I didn't understand it at all. And uh, neither did he. And we're just sitting there, and we both looked at each other, and we went, at the, I'm not even kidding you, at the same time, we looked at each other and went, what the hell? And uh, that's that's my my weird college story of the day. Uh, if you if you guys have, yeah, those of you that are in college or have gone to college, you understand that there are some weird people. Let me tell you what. I, uh, I walked into the student lounge the other day, and there were three guys there. They had brought in an Xbox and set it up to watch Netflix, which I can respect that. But they're sitting there all crowded around watching My Little Pony. And that was odd to me. And I understand that, you know, to each their own, if you like it, you like it. But I, I can't imagine myself bringing an Xbox to school with the intent of watching My Little Pony in the public student lounge. I mean, more power to him for not giving the hell, giving a hell of what, what anybody thinks about him. But that's just weird. And I think at that at that point, I've talked about this before, but at that point, you're trying, you're trying to appear weird. You want people to be like, oh, he's that weird guy, because you, I think they identify with that, and it's kind of their niche. But I'm just saying, you know, hey, that's some weird, weird stuff there. Whatever floats your boat. In my case, it's water. Water floats my boat. It's a corny joke of the day. And oh, I actually. Guys, this is pretty crazy. So, there was a kidnapping at my school on Friday. I mean, it was pretty crazy, but uh, it's okay. He woke up. Uh, he's not napping anymore. <laughs> you guys all probably hate me for that, but that is my favorite joke right now. I'm telling everybody that'll listen to me. I'm just like, you guys hear about the kidnapping on Friday? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. But he woke up. It's all good. I have a really corny sense of humor for those of you that haven't established that at this point, and I'm gonna try and try and work it into my commentaries a little more. Cause I, in person, I'm known for two things when I'm with my friends. I'm known for really corny jokes and making a sexual innuendo out of absolutely anything that I can. For instance, last night I went out to dinner with uh, three friends, and one of them was like, she was talking about KFC, and she was like, you know, I only like dark meat, and I was like, oh, trust me, I am in the same boat. And then I said, but really, nothing gets me going in the morning like a nice sausage. And she, and she was just like, oh my, you, you would. You would, Alex. You would. You would do that. You would, you would go there and make it, make, it a, make it a penis joke about a black penis. You, you would be that guy to make a joke about a black penis. Which, to be fair, I'm totally that guy that would make a joke about a black penis. Because, you know, I mean, if you have... Quality dick jokes are just underappreciated in today's society. I really think the world could do with some more phallic humor. And phallic, for those of you that don't know, this is my vocab word of the day for y'all. Phallic is another word for penis. Um, it's your phallus. And it makes you say a little class. It, it sounds a little classier. Just like another word for sex is coitus. I was having coitus with my phallus. Um... This commentary has gone completely off of where I wanted it to go. I was I was originally going to talk about the new Thor 
And um, but I ended up talking about black penis, which is a pretty standard uh, deviation for me. I think at this point. And by the way, this is going to be a long video. Uh, the gameplay originally uncut was like 12 minutes long. So I'm just going to keep rambling on until eventually you guys either click off and find somebody else to listen to. Or you, uh, you, li you listen to me talk about penis humor for another good four minutes probably. But, uh, you know, as I'm recording this commentary, I've just hit level 40 in uh, Ghosts. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little stats run through real quick. So, my kill-death ratio right now is a 1.07, I have 1,025 kills and uh, 955 deaths, which, that's not a lot of kills, but, if you go through where I get my kills, I have 740 of them in search and rescue, and uh, I'm ranked 3,000th in search and rescue right now, 3,417. Uh, 21 plants, 8 defuses, 5 defense, 44 rescues, and 740 kills. I've killed 740 people in a week, alright? This is straight up, like, you know, Coney style. Whatever happened to Coney? You know, everybody was like, oh, yeah, you know, stop Coney 2012. And that lasted about a whole four months until the guy that organized the movement was found uh, naked, playing with himself in the middle of a freeway in L.A., and that, that does tend, that would kill movements. Um, I, well, it didn't kill his movement, if you know what I'm saying. But that, I, could, I could imagine that if you, uh, if you find out the guy that was at the head of, say, uh, an organization that is attempting to uh, bring food to, uh, let's say, Zimbabwe. And then all of a sudden, you know, this dude, you see him out running around downtown performing coitus with his phallus with a stuffed panda. I, I can imagine that would probably bring some negative uh, press onto his, his his charity there, and but you know I think that uh, actually I do know what happened to Coney. So Coney, I, I I don't know what happened to Coney. I've heard a lot of diff different things about Coney. I heard that he was already caught before the whole movement. I've heard that he's since been caught and murdered. I heard that he has a child army, and I've heard that he has a hot dog named after him, the Coney dog. And that was probably the worst joke that I'm ever going to make for you guys. So you need to just soak it in and bask in the glory because I am so corny this commentary and I'm loving it. And I love corny jokes because you know what? I think I'm hilarious and I laugh at my own jokes because if I said it out loud, I deemed it funny enough to say. And I believe as a, as a, this is an N equals one study. So I'm the only person that's in this study, but research has showed in this study that I am funny as hell. So, on that note, I'm going to leave you guys. This has been YouTube Knifing. If you enjoyed the video, if you like talking about black penis, please drop a like, comment, or subscribe. And, uh, uh, you know, hey, if you, if you want, if there's something you guys want me to talk about, you can always uh, shoot me a message or comment if you figured out how to comment yet, because I still don't know. But this has been YouTube Knifing. Ten likes would <laughs> do something to my phallus. Peace out, guys.